Hey guys, uh, I'm Jose and welcome to this new tutorial on Softimage Eyes. Um, right, so in this tutorial we're going to see how to do some conditional statements um, based on the information that we're collecting between a uh, sphere and an all. Right, so let's start by creating a primitive um, sphere, body mesh sphere, right, and we can just put more points if we want. Right. Um, let's also change the visualizing mode to shaded and perhaps just a you know, wireframe of shaded. So there we go. Uh, we have a sphere. Let's also create a model uh, here and now, right? I'm going to place this guy here. So that's good. Um, the other thing we're going to do is just go into ice. There we go. Uh, and create an ice tree. So we're going to start creating an ice tree inside this object, right? And we're going to call the distance to the other object. So we're going to start with set data, get data. And let's start visualizing here. So I'm going to use the point position first to just drive a custom property that of, of this object like just to rehearse some things that we saw in the last video right so we're going to just show the values of the points and we're going to look at them as points here right so you can see that we're looking at the points um, the other thing we're going to do is get the data of the null so what we're going to do is uh, explore the scene here and in null kinematics global transform sorry uh, the position kinematics global transform position we will get the point position of the null right so what we could do here it's a subtraction vectors I think we need to put the null first um, the node first and then the point of our sphere and we can try to visualize that right so let's see what uh, this is doing if we use vectors you see that we're creating a vector the subtraction between vectors is sending us a vector between each point and um, the null right so if we move the null around you see that we're creating these vectors right uh, so that's that's very straightforward um, let's disconnect this for a second and let's calculate the distance again um, get distance between this guy and this guy so now that we have the distance uh, we can actually use that for an if statement right so let's do if so and smaller than so we're gonna say if the distance is smaller than some condition right we need to say the condition is a scalar a scalar is just a number of floating point right if you're familiar with scripting scalar would be a floating point so we're gonna say if so you can see here if the value of the distance from the vertex to the null it's smaller than zero in this case we're going to put some value here then execute that will be true else it's going to be false so so we can actually do something so what are we going to do we're going to put uh set data right so we're going to execute if it's true we're going to execute this data so we're going to pass this to the this is a the final node of the that would actually get executed so we're going to say that if this condition is met and if it's true we're going to set the data of the points so self dot point position right not to be zero uh, but rather we just make it become the null right so we're going to connect here the, the position of the null to the data that we want to collect right so that means that if we get close enough um, 
our points and, and this, that's the interesting thing about ice that it's a runtime environment right so we're not in the animation timeline we're just kind of this is being calculating on the fly it's constantly kind of calculating the behavior so you can see and if we also increase this slider now um, you see that we are getting kind of a a larger radius of effect and only the points that are kind of have been uh, that are within that radius get affected right so we don't really need this subtract it was just kind of to sh start showing some of the uh, the, the vectorial aspect that are going to be fundamental to to work with nice we also don't need this attribute here so we're going to clean our graph um, that would be it we have this slider and what we're going to learn in the next tutorial is just how to pack this um, node and in a way make it our own um, compound right um, but again, just like very straightforward lesson on how to start controlling with an if statement the data and activating some of the data uh, into our ice tree. Right? See you guys soon.